Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install macOS 10.15 Catalina Beta 2 on your device. So, let's get started. Now, macOS 10.15 Catalina is the latest operating system release or to be released in September 2019 from Apple, which was introduced a couple of weeks ago by the WWDC Apple Keynote. It comes with many few features, including the separation of iTunes into music, podcasts, and Apple TV, making it a lot easier to use and more reliable, as well as in the developer side, the brand new Swift UI, which is a great framework for building apps across all the Apple platforms, including iOS, macOS, and iPad OS. So that means that you're not going to have to optimize your apps for any of those platforms are going to be done automatically. Which is great, it's going to save you a lot of time. To which we're going to be using the latest version of Xcode 11. I'm going to do a whole separate video of macOS Catalina, but in this video I would like to focus only on installing it onto your device. Now let's jump straight to the installation process. Before moving on, I would like to mention that your Mac has to be at least 7 years old in order for this to work, otherwise it may not work properly. In order to download macOS Catalina Beta 2, you have to navigate to the developer Apple's program, which you have to register in order to access. So once you access and you have signed up, go to the Discover tab, then go to macOS, then go to Download, and here you should have a section saying macOS Catalina. But if it doesn't show up here, then I have another link down the description where you can install it which is going to be the same procedure as well. Here on Oxide you have also Xcode 11, so if you like to download this as well, then you're more than welcome to. So once you download it, then you should have a macOS Catalina developer beta.dmg file on your downloads folder, so make sure to open it. And then it's going to show you this package file. So open it and then it's going to go through the installation process. After it's done, it's going to open a separate window, App Store specifically, which is going to show uh, the macOS Catalina ready to be installed. So click on download and make sure to have at least 15 gigabytes of space on your Mac computer. Okay, so as soon as it's downloaded, click on open and it's going to open the installation utility. But before moving to that, I'm sure there are going to be some people here watching this video who would like to install it on their external devices instead of a primary operating system because again, it has many bugs. There are many issues with it because obviously it's still in the development stage, beta testing stage. Hence, please don't expect it to run smoothly or perfectly. And if you're planning to install it on your as a primary operating system, so install it on your computer just like that, I highly recommend you to use Time Machine or any alternatives to back up all of your files from your computer just in case something happens. So in that case, we're going to install it on my USB stick. So press Command Space in order to open Spotlight Search, pretty handy shortcut, then type Disk Utility. And here you need to also plug in your external hard drive. Uh, and also make sure that if you're on Show Only Volumes, go to Show All Devices in order to access the schema option as well. Then I'm going to move on to the Kingston media because this is my USB stick and I'm going to go to, re to erase and I'm going to name it as OS Catalina demo. Then make sure the format to be APFS and then the scheme has to be GUID partition map. This is the most important option, otherwise it's not going to work. And I click on Erase. And I click on Done. And then exit the window. After that, you're ready to carry on. Make sure to agree with the terms. And then it's going to show all the devices to which you can install macOS Catalina. All the grayed out devices meaning is, means that you are not able to install it on these devices. Hence, you may need to change the schemes and the format before you do that. Again, make sure to back up all of your data before you do that because this is going to erase all of your files within these uh, devices. So I'm going to choose my USB stick, click install, then uh, put my password. And this is going to take quite a bit. So I'm going to take a cup of coffee and I'm going to be back. All right, dude, so this guy is ready. So now we're going to go ahead and restart our computer. And please make sure to hold down the option key, which is right next to the command key, in order to boot via our external disk. Okay, so macOS Catalina is being installed on my USB stick. It should take quite a bit more. So that's why we're going to take a few more cups of coffee just to stay awake. 
Okay, if you get in this error, then that means that your computer doesn't allow you to boot from an external hard drive because of security settings. In order to change that, we're going to navigate to the recovery mode by restarting our Mac and holding down Command R. Then from security, navigate to settings, then start a security utility, and then where it says, choose allow booting from external media. After that, reboot and hold the option key, and from the boot menu, select macOS Catalina. After that, the setup is pretty straightforward. You just need to set up your Mac and put all your details, your credentials, Apple IDs, set up your passwords, uh, accept the terms and services, set up Siri, set up your thumbprint, and then after waiting for 5,000 years, then, then macOS Catalina should be ready for use. There are many new features coming up with Catalina, including screen time, which is a new feature for macOS, currently being on iOS only, and of course, other stuff like separation of iTunes, a redesign reminders app, a new Find Me app which integrates all the features of Find My iPhone and Find My Friends, Sidecar which allows you to use your iPad as an external display, and of course, voice control. We're going to discuss about this more in the next video, so if you want to watch this video, please stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you can receive a notification as soon as the video will be up so you're going to be the first one to watch it don't forget to like this video if you find this enjoyable if you found this helpful share this video to your friends if you want them to install like macOS Catalina as well and don't forget to let me know what Mac computer do you currently have do you currently using thanks for watching and as always i'm going to see you in my next video